sudden there's a feeling and it's spitting like ink and it's slowly spilling out from the well. And all the guilt that you felt smiling down from above with a pit inside you deeper than hell. And it's a crime all the time you spent blaming yourself. All is fine in the shine of mystery and doubt. I tried, I tried, I tried there in vain to explain, but it's just no help. No, oh, oh. One Alkaline Trio. So how do you feel this album differs? Well, with Alkaline Trio, we're very much a team. We, uh, you know, either Dan or I, usually Derek will, will come to uh, the table with a, a guitar partner or an idea. Uh, generally, Dan and I write our own, our song, you know, our, the songs that we sing ourselves, and then we bring it together and all kind of turn it in. We all add our own, you know, ingredients and make it into an Alkaline Trio song. With The Secrets, I went in with just myself and Cameron Webb, who produced the record, and we started from scratch. I equate it more to like an art project, and it was something, it was a challenge. I mean, you know, we, we never, uh, with Alkaline Trio, it's never like, we don't settle and we don't try and just do the easiest thing possible, but right. uh, we've been doing it for 16 years, so it comes pretty naturally. This I've been doing for you know, it just came, it's just about to come out. I've never done anything like this before. You have a very particular sound. It's very unique. Like when I, 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 got, I got to hear this album and I heard it, I'm like, yeah, that's so Matt Skiba. But what's cool is you, you seem to expand on the sound that you've already crafted in Alkaline Trio. What were your main influences in, when making this album? Well, there's this band called the Chameleons from, uh, from the United Kingdom that uh, kind of like I, uh, somebody somebody turned me on to the chameleons like years ago and I was like man I want to do something like this that's not it doesn't sound like alkaline trio it's po it's like post punk it still like has that punk rock edge yeah. but it's more romantic and it has like this more like um, you know eight, like not 80s feel necessarily there aren't keys right but like the cure um, the chameleons like I wanted to write this is the first time I've written like a, a true love song for someone, um, there were just a lot of different different like things that I experimented with uh, that I can't do with Alkaline Trio. How do you feel Alkaline fans 
are going to react when they hear this album? I think that the album, uh, the, musically, people seem to really dig it. I think when they see the live show, it's going to be something a little different. Like some of the press shots that have leaked and stuff. Like yeah. my friend Wes Borland, uh, d I had hit, commissioned him to design this suit for me that people are like, what in the hell is going on with this guy? Like, is he like having a, couldn't you have just bought the Porsche? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like midlife crisis central. So I. I had Wes build this thing for me and we did all the press shots. It's like feathers and war paint, yeah. very Adam Ant, another huge influence on the record. Um, and I'm not playing. I've been like studying like Indian ritual dances and stuff. Like it's gonna be, we wanna put on a show. We want it to be like punk rock theater. And so people are kind of naysaying the pictures. They're like, this looks stupid. It's like, it looks silly, whatever. This is the guy from Alkaline Trio. And I wanted the secrets to be something completely different. Absolutely. And I'm hoping that when people see it, see the costume in motion and see the whole thing in, in action, it'll make sense. You know, and it's like, for me, it's like, it, I'm taking a risk by doing it, but, you know, there's there's no fun in not taking a risk. You know, it's, if it doesn't make you a little bit nervous, then well, it's not any fun. Is this something you want to continue, aside from, you know, like a lot of, uh, like, people who leave from Band with Side Project, they do like one album, maybe two. Is this something you want to continue for the long term? Well, the, the this... contract is for three records, I believe. Two records. So we're definitely, there's definitely going to be two records. <laughs> um, but uh, but I'm already in love with that. I mean, having my friends come here today and being here with you, like, this is so fun. It's like, yeah. do you guys want to do this? Like, let's slam a beer and go over to CBS and, like, play some <laughs> songs. And, like, everyone just, came, you know, it's like, was really easy to, to pull together. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to, we're going to keep, Keep going and going and going.